Hello. Oh, can't say hello too soon. Apparently I'm not on screen yet. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we should be smooth. Yes, there I am, hello, hello. <laughs> Mysterious voices, yes, I have so many of them. Hello, hello, my dear morsels. I am a Luminous Peak, your friendly neighborhood, uh, Night Witch Fae, and I'm here with <laughs> the second stream in, in as many weeks uh because life has uh been been lifing <laughs> eternal love song you haven't been to one of my streams in a while or at least you haven't chatted in them for a while hello hello nice to see you again zeb you already know i love having you here <laughs> hi guys how are you guys doing it's hump day it's Wednesday and uh, your old pal Lumi here is trying to get back into the groove of streaming because I miss you guys so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. I wanted to take a moment to sort of try to, um... uh, nice to hear your delightful voice again. Thank you. I wanted to take a moment to briefly discuss uh, some of the, the things that have been happening. Cause on my first stream back, I just wanted to chill out and rock out and not necessarily uh, go that far with <laughs> the emotions. You know, people talk so much and so often um, about streamers, uh, like not trauma dumping in people's streams, but I also prefer not to do the opposite either. Um, it, it feels bad, man, uh, because what I would like to do is talk uh, more about my personal life so that you guys can get to know me. I had someone point out to me in DMs quite recently. They were like, I like your stream and I love your voice, which was very sweet of them. Um, but I've noticed that you don't have a lot of time to talk about yourself as often uh, as I would like to hear about you. <laughs> And it's, it's true, I I am very aware. I've gone back to my, my VODs and <laughs> just other content. It's hard though. Um, ah, Lemon, I, I can't believe you're still subscribed to me, to be honest. <laughs> you are so sweet, thank you so much. Yes, almost half anniversary. Which is crazy. My uh, stream anniversary is actually coming up soon. Lemon was the very first person to sit in literally any stream that I had done ever. Um, before I had this branding and before I had this um, particular form that you're looking at now. Uh, I just did like an overhead unboxing stream of like some um, stationary things. Uh, and Lemon was the very first person who sat with me on stream while I got over my jitters. So I always will deeply appreciate your presence in my stream. You are fantastic. Which is not to put down or to not acknowledge any of my newer friends. I've made a lot of friends while streaming and I am actually eternally uh, grateful for that. I think I have a lot of luck when it comes to meeting people in general that mesh well with me, I am super fortunate. It's the old fey look uh, showing its, rearing its head, so to speak. <laughs> We've come so far, but we sure have come farther than uh, my old busted phone <laughs> perched on like uh, a weird, like, uh, what was it? Like a TikTok brand filming mount. <laughs> Lumi is great and deserves all the great friends. Oh my gosh. I, so I don't want this to sound like I'm being negative about myself when I say, please don't say that, but I already have, I feel like I already have all the great friends. Other people deserve great friends too. <laughs> That's the thing. I feel like I'm hogging them. I feel like I'm no doubt hogging them. 
Uh, I probably encountered them by some odd twist of fate, and perhaps I uh, inadvertently tricked them uh, into remaining by my side as long as they have. <laughs> Horde friends, <laughs> hog me more, got you guys. But Zeb, I already do every day. I'm just like, do you have free time for a call? Do you have free time for a call <laughs> so I can pick your brain, so I can ask you about things? Uh, I do, I hog you so much. I feel bad about the amount I hog you already. <laughs> Okay, first things first, before we get to chatting about things that might not be quite as happy face, I want to show off my nails. I have new ones. <laughs> I know how much you guys are here for the hand content and this is not a hand stream, but I do want to show off my nails because I feel like uh, some of you will riot if I don't actually. <laughs> okay, let me swap over to the old screen. Alrighty, so let's get in here with the, these are the current nails. <laughs> I wanna make sure it's focused enough. If I hold it like, cause the, the light is a little too direct. Uh, so we got this blue situation happening with these uh, really nice, oh, the light is just killing me. You're killing me smalls. These are like heart uh, iridescent, like heart, iridescent heart flakes. And then this is just like a normal type of uh, glitter over here on the pinky. There we go, that's better. It's hard to see the, the shine, but I think if I go back and forth, you can see it a little bit. <laughs> They're a bit longer than I normally go, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> a bit longer than I normally go. Uh, but I really liked the, the glitter and uh, the result of that was basically just me deciding it was worth it regardless. So that's that's what happened basically. Come on, Mike, actually stay up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I love this camera so much. I feel like I, I have control of my life now <laughs> that I can actually adjust the focus at will. It's fantastic. I'm so glad I was in chat for this. <laughs> You're so sweet. I'm being a perfectionist. You can't, you don't even need to see uh, much anyway. Oh, actually, while I'm here, <laughs> while I'm here, this is the new child. <laughs> this is a new child. Let's bring it in here so you guys can see what's going on with this new, oops, there we go, with this new one here. Uh, this is a, let me unplug them real quick. <laughs> This is a, uh, oh shoot, I forgot the name already. This is the Tenet, the Tenet 70 Medikey. How well can you type with those bad boys? Okay, so I can actually type really well with the nails. I can. Um, and that's okay. So that works just fine. It's a little unwieldy, so I can't type at full speed. I always type faster when I'm uh, typing my own thoughts as opposed to like uh transliteration of something i've like written because i gotta look at what i've written i can touch type i don't know i get nervous when it's just not my own thoughts i don't always know the flow but i can type pretty well it's not as fast as i can normally type my normal type speed is hovering around 85 to 90 words per minute which is not impressive at all but <laughs> i think it's good enough for what i do um, and I was surprised to see that basically as long as I have like a flat edge on my nail, I can do a decent job at typing. Sometimes it does slip depending on the shape of the keys. These keys work best. This is cherry profile. Um, I was trying to type on one of the other profiles, uh, that I have. And it's, uh, it's a little more difficult cause they're slippery, more slippery. Hi Vesper. Hope everyone's having a good day. I hope you are having a good day. All of my streamer friends have been having like scuff issues. <laughs> so I hope that everything has been going smoothly for you. I missed your, uh, your last coffee talk stream and I gotta go back and watch, but I am excited about it. Um, yeah, so the typing is okay. I've been able to type for work with no problem. I feel like 40 words per minute is what most people expect for work. So even with the nails, more than enough to be able to do it. 
it helps the muscle memory helps i feel like if i had to look to do everything i would i would be screwed i'd be fucked hard <laughs> with these nails okay so the back of this boy this gorgeous baby boy Ugh, i love him so much so the the model here is a tenant 70 this is the board that i built at my friend's house while i was on hiatus the vod is on youtube already yes um and i don't know i don't even know what else to say i've been looking after this one for a while the weight here reminded me of like especially with the font let me see if i can i don't even have to see if i can i can actually do it the font here reminds me of like um like aztec uh stone carvings and that's a hundred percent while i bought it um so without getting into it too deep my two patron deities are um named lemonade and quetzalcoatl and so i wanted to name two boards after them so this is quetzalcoatl lemonade is the uh pink uh long boy that i've showed off on stream before <laughs> So I'm just, I'm happy to have the complete set now. This is not the final key set that I wanted on these. Um, I have a green, like a lovely uh, green keycap set that I want on this. And the, um, the switches are colored like yellow and orange. Let me see if I can like, don't do what I'm doing. I'm using a pen to pry up my, <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this brush. I'm using a pen to pry up like my <laughs> my keycaps. <laughs> Let me turn this off so you can actually see it. So it's yellow on the top, which you can see here. And then on the bottom is like an orange color. So it's got all the Quetzalcoatl colors. I'm gonna be a little quiet cleaning the kitchen. That's perfectly fine. No worries. This is gonna be a pretty chill stream. I just, I'm just trying to still get back into the groove of things. We're gonna take it easy. We're probably only get, gonna get about an hour of um, a little to the left uh, in today, and that's okay. I just wanted to take a little time to get back into streaming because if you, the longer you wait, the more anxious you feel about like, oh man, I've been gone for so long, do people even care? The harder it is to actually do it. So I just wanted to hop in and just go ahead. Uh, same, it's almost bath time, bedtime for my wee cryptid. Yes, 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 take your time, take care of your cryptid. Ooh, okay, so Nightbot is doing its job. I wanna take a moment to point out uh, as we move back to the chatting screen, <clears throat> what Nightbot is showing you. Uh, I, while I was away, um, organized a uh, basically a notion site like a spreadsheet of all of the keyboards and keyboard accessories that i currently own um, now i didn't include tools so things like switch pullers and stuff like that is not on there but if you open it up you can visually see there's not only a table with the information written out so that you can compare some of the stuff i own to other things i own um but there are uh, like picture views. So it'll actually just show you if you go to gallery view, it'll literally just show you pictures of the keyboard builds I have and uh, the switches that I have, the desk mats I have, etc. cetera. Um, I also included some information for people who don't know very much about keyboards. Cause I have a lot, a lot, a lot of people um, who show up and they don't know the definitions of things. They don't know where to start to look. So there's a glossary at the top that links to some of that information. Um, some of, if it's short enough, it's got its own like little sentence describer. Um, but I linked to a couple of helpful sites, um, that have articles, um, that can help you understand exactly what's going on, what things mean. Uh, and if there's information on any of the, the pages for like say one of my builds, say you wanna know which switches uh, are listed, um, you can actually click 
on it and it'll take you to the picture of it on the page I have separately. So I pretty much have all the relevant information you could wanna know about the build, including the model name, uh, Lumi's Keep Dictionary, yeah, basically. The model name, the color, the material that it's made out of, because I have both plastic boards and aluminum boards. Um, I also list the sizes so that you can see the picture and kind of get a feel for what the sizing means if you're more of a visual learner. Um, I also took the time to note when I ordered the keyboards versus when I received the keyboards. Um, the newest baby here, Quetzalcoatl, is not on there yet because I'm like big and lazy, but literally every other keyboard that I own is there. Um, if I haven't built it, there's a little screen that says not yet built. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, for the switches as well and some of the other um, just general items, desk mats and stuff like that, I tell you when I ordered them versus when I received them too. Um, the only thing that's not included there is cost uh, because I bought quite a few of these over a number of years and I don't really want people like... <laughs> Not that you can't tally up how much I've spent on keyboards, but I don't want to advertise it, you know, like that clearly. I don't want to just, here's the flat number of what I've, in the last four years, what I've spent on keyboards. Because it's a lot uh, and also um, embarrassing. <laughs> uh, staying at home for COVID gave me a, uh, gave me a boost uh, and made things easier financially. So like the number of keyboards I bought like in 2020 and 2021 are like not comparable. <laughs> to what to anything I've spent recently so I don't I don't I didn't want to be easily judged <laughs> by that so if you want to know you'll have to do your own homework and look some stuff up I'm not going to tell you <laughs> I will say um that most of the boards I have are special like limited projects that ran for a temporary amount of time like a short time um so if it were a product that you could just easily or readily buy um, like if you could constantly easily or readily buy it, I would actually just link it to you. Cause I'm, I'm not about like gatekeeping people getting things. Uh, but since most of these were short projects, it doesn't really do much except like, I don't know, give weird people fodder to try to calculate how much <laughs> expendable income I have. <laughs> and I don't want that. So everything else though is on there. Uh, I worked really hard on it. Um, and I'm just, I'm looking forward to getting questions or people asking, uh, and learning more about keyboards. Cause I want to make it more accessible. You know, if I'm like the first person you've come across in terms of stream, that's like tinkered with keyboards. I want to make the transition into the rabbit hole as easy as possible, <laughs> but okay. Um, now that we've got that out of the way. Explaining my hiatus, explaining my absence, right? The TLDR is uh, sad, depressing things um, happened. Uh, and the conclusion is, and I mean, read between the lines, right? I have a funeral to attend um, tomorrow. Uh, no, not tomorrow, this weekend. Uh, and I also had to attend one a couple weeks ago. So it's, it's been a time, as I'm sure you can surmise. And uh, I just needed a bit of space to deal with the things that were happening. <laughs> uh, I, it's true what people say, if you've ever heard that saying, uh, weddings and funerals bring out the worst in people. That is absolutely true. Um, so it was a lot of dealing with like peripheral things, family things. The sad, depressing thing being Carl Lagerfeld not being chosen for Met Gala and not Vivian. Okay, okay. I know we were going to talk about me, but small pivot. This is absolutely true. Why choose Carl instead of Vivian, right? So I'm not like a super huge fashion buff, but I enjoy pretty, looking at pretty things and aesthetically pleasing things. And fashion happens to fall into that very specific hole, right? So, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, try to um, be a revisionist and say that Lagerfeld didn't contribute um, anything to the world of fashion. You'd literally have to be like ignorant to assert something like that. 
But Vivian Westwood not being uh, chosen, crazy to me, actually crazy to me. Um, just given the climate of what's going on in not just uh, like the US, but various countries uh, and Vivian's legacy, uh, the wide con contribution that she made to literally the punk movement movement in its origins. It's so odd that they picked Lagerfeld and not Vivian. I mean, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. It's entirely possible that maybe they asked, you know, like her estate or something like that. And they declined to work with them in some way or something. I don't know. I doubt it though. I'm just, you know, I'm leaving wiggle room because we don't know everything, right? You know? Uh, yeah, fuck, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't either. And he's the HP Lovecraft of fashion. Absolutely. Love me some HP Lovecraft. Uh, very conflicted about that though. <laughs> uh, it, it just sucks, you know? And I mean, some of the looks were really great for the Met Gala, to be honest. I mean, I feel like this was like Carl's reputation aside. I do feel like this was a very meh prompt uh, because Lagerfeld is like, I don't know. He contributed a lot, but I don't feel like he is standout in the same way that Vivian has been, if that makes any sense. All the spite fashion. Yeah. So there was a lot of spite fashion, which I think is fantastic, but it's just weird. <laughs> it's, it's just weird to me. I feel like Lagerfeld didn't represent very many things that were bigger to bigger than himself in the same way that Vivian Westwood always has not in terms of music or social movements or like pop culture. None, none of those things. So it, I, you know, I feel like it was very limited to a certain extent in terms of fashion, which is oddly, you know, a little, a little weird to me for the Met Gala. Usually they try to pick themes that can be interpreted in like a variety of ways. Not to mention Vivian Westwood was in Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> is that actually true? I'm not a hardcore Final Fantasy person, so I would not actually know. I have no clue if this is just like, if she actually was in it or if there's just someone that resembles her so closely that they just call them like Vivian Westwood, which I approve of by the way. <laughs> um, I just actually don't know for sure, for sure. But yeah, I just, you know, I just thought it was limited. I'm not really big on, yes, she designed a wedding dress for the game, what? Oh, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Also, mm, I think that Nightbot is doing a lot right now. <laughs> Let me see if I can, I wanna fix that timer before I do anything else. <laughs> not that we can't, but you know. Uh, not that we can't have it going off that often, but my preference would be something not quite like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I, okay, I see why it's happening that way. That's a little crazy. We're gonna fix it, it's cool. Already, <laughs> hopefully it'll be a bit better. I just don't want to spam anybody while they're in chat. I <laughs> don't. I I only discovered how timers work recently, so. But yeah, the wedding dress that is crazy. I'm actually gonna look that up so I can see what it looks like. I feel like I read about this when it happened, and then forgot about it because it's Final Fantasy. I feel like that's exactly what happened. Oh, that is very Vivian. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. And it works really well for Final Fantasy, like so far as Final Fantasy uh, designs go. I, I actually like that. Hmm. That's really nice. Thank you for pointing that out to me. <laughs> I 
okay. Um, where was I? Oh yes, okay, sad, sad things. Like I'm over it now, so I'm just, you know, I feel like it's this is a better climate to just talk about it. So funeral things were happening. Uh, people are very irritating during that time. Um, I'm the sort of person personally uh, that is not um, outwardly affected by death uh, in terms of like emotional expression. Like I'm definitely the sort of person that's more like, okay, this is a thing that has happened and I have to accept this. So what do we need to do from here? Uh, and I faced a lot of like um, very draining I, like how to put this without like being mean a lot of draining conversations in which people assumed that there was more under the surface than there was and I was being very pressured to like perform sad emotions to prove my grief in a way which is really gross um even if it's coming from a good place where people think, you know, like I do sometimes think that there are people who hide their pain and they're very good at doing it. But ultimately when you're dealing with people who um, are expressing their emotions, it's important for them to decide how they're gonna do that. And if a person goes out of their way to hide what they're feeling and make it convincing, there has to be a point, right, at which it stops becoming your problem because you didn't try hard enough and it becomes their problem because that's just how they've decided to present to you and you can't know what everyone thinks. Girl, do I look like a weeping woman? I mean, <laughs> some people, some people are, it's just, that's, you know, not me. And uh, in one of the particular cases, there was a lot of messiness about some of like the arrangements and how to reach out to people and spread information. And I put myself in a position to be helpful because I was close to the person. Um, and it was just very frustrating dealing with people who are very unorganized and who don't know how to look for help <laughs> for lack of better words, which isn't to say, you know, like dealing with someone, you know, dying is hard. That's like an understatement, right? I'm just staying the bare bones thing here. Uh, but I think that it is important to have people people that you can trust who are level-headed that can help you with those arrangements, especially if you're dealing with someone who, you know, is fairly young and doesn't have arrangements of their own, you know? Uh, as morbid as this sounds, I am a proponent of, you know, organizing your death plan as early as possible so that there's no doubt about like what you want and people don't have to fight about what your wishes are or what you would have liked. Uh, the fact of the matter is sometimes the people who are close to you in terms of your family, the people who have legal rights to arrange those things, they don't actually know anything about you for various reasons. So I think it's important to either t like create a plan that assigns the work to people who do know you. And you should talk to those people about that, of course. Um, or at least put what you don't want <laughs> in those plans so that everyone knows what not to do. Like from a legal standpoint, you know, make sure that the appropriate people all have a copy, you know, uh, it, it doesn't take that long to like notarize a doc, right? It's like in most places, it's about $10, at least in the U S. Um, so I, I feel like that sort of thing is important. I was just kind of dealing with that sort of drama for a bit and dealing with other people in a scenario where everyone's got feelings, so you have to tiptoe around them, but people are like weaponizing their feelings to make decisions that are not convenient or helpful to other people who are mourning. It was a lot of social tiptoeing um, and it just actually took a lot out of me. There's no way that I could, <clears throat> there's no way that I could deal with everyone on those kind of levels where I had to pay attention to like detail on every level to make sure I was navigating things right. And then being frustrated at having to do that at all, et cetera, et cetera. And then come to street with like great energy. It just was not gonna happen. Um, and because the plannings and interactions lasted for quite some time, uh, I just, I just couldn't. I'm not a fan of bringing negativity onto my streams. I don't wanna get on stream and just like bitch about people 
<laughs> as frustrating as they are. Uh, so I just didn't want to, I didn't want to bring that to my, to my stream. So I didn't. Um, and the, the result, uh, was me not streaming for maybe, I don't know, about a month, I would say close to maybe like three weeks, maybe like three and a half weeks, something like that. But that's a long time. Uh, by the time I, when I streamed last week, I felt like I was just doing it for the first time again. <laughs> Huggles, thank you so much. Huggles are like my absolute favorite. Uh, my love language is personal touch. I love Huggles. So that actually helps a lot. <laughs> the fact that I can even talk about this uh, lets me know that I'm in a space um, where things are just so much better. Um, and I said this on my last stream as well, which was like just me playing around with uh, slime. Uh, but I took that time to also make some improvements to the stream. First stream anxiety nearly made me throw up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Listen, when I did my debut stream, even though that wasn't my first stream, it felt like it was my first official stream. And I was so nervous during that. I'm pretty sure if I went back to look at it, I would die. Um, but <laughs> I feel like that's the marker of being, you know, like a streamer, right? You look back at anything older than a certain amount of time and you're like, what? <laughs> and I feel the same way about my writing too. If I look back at anything that I've written before a certain point, I'm just like, oh my God, no, please. Uh, juicy crust take this away please vanish it from the eyes of anyone who's ever seen it just can we just banish it from existence <laughs> and i mean i feel like that's very universal right even the like the corpo tubers you can see them do uh like i react to my first stream or whatever and they're <laughs> or i react to my debut stream and even they are just like oh my god <laughs> Why was I like this? <laughs> uh, the answer is nerves, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, uh, it, it was a struggle bus. So not only was I dealing with all of those things, but on top of that, once those dramas died down, uh, naturally I, I and my roomie immediately got sick. So of course, me reacting to week old writing, ill cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little better than that about a week, but give me like a month, give me a month. I'll be on that same tip, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got sick immediately after the roomie got sick immediately after. And I've seen a bunch of other VTubers who, you know, and even just people online who got sick as well and had to take breaks from streaming. It was like a really bad, like throat bug. It was crazy. Normally, you know, if I'm uh, sick, but I'm still feeling okay, I would just stream anyway. Uh, but because it was a throat thing, like I wouldn't have been able to, I wouldn't have been able to sit down and talk or chat for an amount of time. And once I recognized that that was the case, I was like, okay, well, I guess this is just what we're gonna have to do. I, I promised myself when I started streaming that I would not push myself uh, beyond what I was capable of doing unless it was for something really, really important. And I want there to actually be a difference between things that are important and things that I do on a whim. So I had a conversation with myself and was like, we can't be like this. We just actually have to take the break. It sucks. We'll just have to tweet about how much it sucks and uh, take it one day at a time. Um, so I worked on other things. I got that new, uh, not quite fancy, but definitely new camera. Um, that's manually focused so I can actually adjust it, which is great. Um, I found a couple very useful threads on uh, Twitter about um, getting wired internet. Cause like I'm in a, the place that I'm in. So first of all, I have been streaming on Wi-Fi, which I know is not the move, uh, but the place that I live in, um, I rent here. And also on top of that, um, <clears throat> the distance between our modem and the room I'm in uh, is kind of, it, it's not a large distance, but it's inconvenient to wire. Cause you know, like when you wire, you have to go like along the walls 
and everything. Uh, so like my office is like across from the living room where a modem is. Uh, and between them is the actual entrance to the place, right? So I would have to wire around like the front door <laughs> to get it into this, to get the, to get any type of cable into this room <laughs> so that I can actually stream wired. Uh, but there's a couple solutions to that, uh, that were very, uh, oh my gosh, what is my neighbor doing upstairs? I don't know if you guys can hear it. Maybe she's vacuuming. <laughs> Um, but I basically got like a, um, a wireless extender that has a plug that you can put in it. So the extender works in the room that you're in from the modem. And then you can wire from where it's plugged into your computer. And I would recommend that to anyone who's in a situation where <clears throat> maybe you like live at home with your family or you're in a space that you can't alter that easily. It definitely worked really well for me. It was very easy to set up. Um, it was on Amazon. I'll have to post about it or at least retweet the thread again. I did retweet it when I found it the first time. So that was really nice. Uh, so we got the camera. I also replaced my mic. So in, in the hopes that I don't get that weird buzzing uh, from my phone being on. And then we've got some, some wired stability. So hopefully we won't have like weird drops unless the internet is actually just kaput, you know? Oh my God, my neighbor, please. My neighbor is just vacuuming away today because of course, oh my God, cringe. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I did all of those things while I was sick. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> I can tell she's vacuuming literally. Uh, yes, it sounds like a buzzsaw. It always sounds like that when she's vacuuming and I don't understand what type of vacuum she has. I'm turning the gain down in the hopes that it helps just a little bit, but my God, <laughs> she sure chose the time to do it, didn't she? <laughs> Hopefully she'll be done in a minute or two. She's not gonna be vacuuming for like a half an hour, but it does sound like a buzzsaw. That's crazy. It definitely sounds like a buzz song. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn the game down and like wh whisper to you guys, like I'm talking to a friend. <laughs> is she a queen of hive? That would be so badass. My neighbor is such a boring person. Um, it would actually be great if she were the head of a hive of bees, honestly. <laughs> okay, she just turned it off. Hopefully she's not gonna turn it back on. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. She doesn't know that I stream, so she just be doing stuff. Okay, so <clears throat> after we got sick and got better, right, from the throat thing, my roomie gets pink eye. <laughs> A pink eye in both eyes, in both eyes, Vesper. In both eyes, y'all. Pink eye in both eyes. That's how you know it's bad. I don't think I've ever in my life seen someone get pink eye in both eyes, like conjunctivitis in both eyes. Oh geez, no, oh, she's turning it back on again. All right, well. <sighs> okay, back, yes. Okay, so I was just explaining that after all of the sad um, things, I got sick and my roomie got sick and on the heels of getting better, my roomie got pink eye in both eyes. So that was ridiculous. Um, so I, was extra cautious about like hygiene and cleanliness in the house because I also didn't want to contract it after being sick. Uh, the worst thing ever would be to just be sick again <laughs> uh, and not be able to go anywhere or do anything, um, especially because I was definitely depressed uh, and just wanted to be able to go places and do stuff and have fun. So. Uh, I decided to wait out streaming, especially because being sick, they were home a lot more often. And uh, I am not in the uh, business of telling people that they can't like uh, enjoy their own home to the fullest. Like they're very considerate of me when I am streaming and stuff. Uh, but I didn't want to be like, ah, yes, I know that you're stuck at home because you are sick, but now you must be super quiet and you can't do anything in the house, you know, so. <laughs> So I just decided to wait. 
I was also still, you know, like exhausted just in general. I didn't want to push myself to come back and stream the first day that I was feeling better. Um, I worked on some writing things, partially inspired by Vesper, um, Vesper's book um, being put out. Uh, I still have to, I still have to read, read it. Uh, because I realized my phone does not have an apparatus to open up EPUB files. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a pleb, I'm a charlatan. Uh, my previous phone definitely had a couple apps for that, but I don't remember what they were because I mostly use them to read comic books. <laughs> so now I have to find something on my, on my phone so I can actually open it up and read it. How dare it not simply allow witnessing the glorious works of Vesper. Okay, listen, I, yes. Oh, do you want a PDF? Yes. Oh my God. Could you give me a PDF? Oh, I didn't want to ask you. <laughs> I didn't want to bother you in the DMs because you already gave me like a free copy. And I was just like, okay, I'll just figure it out. <laughs> I just hadn't figured it out yet. <laughs> but yes, I would love a PDF. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I had this, uh, I can't handle that. I totally just had this dialogue in my head that was like, okay, but listen, Vesper sent you a copy of his work. And you know, like it's very sacred to like send people, you don't send copies of your work to everyone. So like, don't do that. And then ask him for like extra stuff. Like he gave you these. So these are the things work with it. I don't know why that was my internal dialogue about it, but that's what happened. <laughs> It's all good. I was probably affected by the old depression brain. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was probably just like, this is somehow asking for another format. That's too inconvenient. Don't be like that. You're not allowed to inconvenience your friends like this, <laughs> which is super stupid. They saying it now, like literally out loud on stream. That is the dumbest thing I think I've ever come up with. <laughs> that do sound like depression brain. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. I, I was very convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, after publishing it, I caught more typos. That always happens. That always happens, literally. Oh my God. So I was inspired to work on some writing. Uh, yeah, that is literally, exactly. That was my first reaction. That always happens. It does. Um, in terms of the writing I'm working on, um, and we'll get started with uh, a little to the left in just a second here. I have an RP sandbox that I've written in uh, with friends over a period of like a decade. And normally, I know the reaction is like, oh my God, like RP, right? Um, but we have like a robust sort of fantasy world that we've made over and developed over the last decade. It's been like super huge. Lemon is one of the people that I write with actually. Say hello, Lemon. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, I, how to, how to put this? I was basically <laughs> bullied by Zeb <laughs> into taking my idea of, uh, creating a Tumblr with information about the setting, um, <laughs> and turning it into like a website. So basically what we have right now is just sort of like a loose collection since I prefer forums. Yeah, man. I want to read everything. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, going back to the beginning, um, we were on forums originally uh, and eventually moved to Google Docs um, after some things happened and the website fell through. Um, so a lot of the information is just like in random spots where we've like posted to share with friends and things like that. So I wanted to consolidate it in a form that other people could read if they were curious, like, like Zeb. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to do Discord and it's not that I, at this point with streaming and everything, I don't have as much time to write and do RP with like going back and forth instantaneously with new people the way that I would want to. Um, so I haven't made like a discord for it yet or anything. Uh, for the most part, it's just me and Lemon and like input from some of our friends who don't quite have time to write anymore, but like still have uh, characters that do things. Um, but the world is fairly interesting. Um, it's, mm, mm, it's, it's a future setting that's like an offshoot from our universe. And without going into too much detail, basically it's like a mixture of fantasy and sci-fi. So there's lots of different 
fantasy races and there's like technology being mixed with magic, that kind of thing. Uh, but because the, <laughs> like I was addicted to Guyon online, me too, bestie. <laughs> that wasn't where me doing RP started, but it definitely was like, uh, you know what, mm -mm, maybe, I feel like I started Gaia online at the same time that I was getting into some other forums. I need pretty forum formatting. Yes. Ugh. Being able to format where like what your posts look like was go Ted. Oh my God. I can show you some old RPs if I don't cringe to death. Please do. I would love to exchange uh, RP information with you, which is part of what started this. <laughs> This writing project in the first place, just wanting to share like the setting at least and some of the characters uh, and also just sort of like give away for people to see some of my writing. It's, I don't wanna say it's cringe because it's it's not quite that, but it, it feels odd to, like when you have a standalone work that you're marketing, um, you can sort of link your like if you post excerpts and snippets to like something that you're you like you're putting out right because it's a standalone work but when you have an rp that like has a bunch of like background information and things like that to me it feels weird to sort of just post randomly about it and expect like strangers on the internet to care so <laughs> so i haven't really found like and also a lot of a lot of my RP writing is not safe for work. So <laughs> so I don't want to just like post it up um with like no context. Uh so I decided to do the Tumblr at behest of uh Zeb. <laughs> uh let me catch up real quick. Um it was where you started. Yes, Lemon, I am aware. My first OC started on Gaia and Damage Shows. <laughs> yeah, I used to trade, um, I used to trade short stories and uh, fanfic commissions for art on, on Gaia Online. That's 100% what I, what I used to do. <laughs> uh, I still have some art from that era as well. Uh, uh, me and one of my besties, we're still friends today uh totally got married on Gaia online <laughs> and we had art done of so that we could have like a poster of our characters fantastic amazing uh I want to get it like printed and hung up in my home eventually <laughs> too bad Gaia's economy went tits up they wrote essay it's true it's so true <clears throat> Aside from buying like the the monthly uh, items so that you could sell the ones you didn't want and get like a decent amount of gold for them. Like if you didn't have real world money to spend on that website, it became very difficult to persist there. But my goodness, the Gaia Online Avatar Maker, goaded. <clears throat> actually goaded, still goaded, actually. There are still places where you can go and dress up like an avatar with all the current items, like if you wanna design an OC. Uh, I happen to know uh, one of the other people who was in this chat, I don't know if she's still here, uh, Eternal Love Song. Whenever she's designing characters, because she's also a writer, she does her general character um, designs in like the Gaia Online simulator. Um, and it works pretty well if you just wanna have an idea of like what someone looks like or what vibe they have, perfect for that. Uh, guy online avatar maker, yeah, actually the best, yeah. My addiction to fashion was probably worsen worsened by guy online, absolutely. Oh my god, I have never thought, of yeah, yep, uh, eternal. There you go, <laughs> coming in in the clutch, absolutely. <clears throat> and a lot of the diverse like hairstyles and like skin textures come through those special monthly items. Uh, so yeah, it's really good if you want like. Even if you're like for VTubers, right? If you're designing a character, if you want a vague idea of like what would be cool for like a model, Guy Online's Avatar Maker works really great for that. You can get all sorts of cool like details and accessories and put them on and you don't have to scour as much for inspo just from like costumes that other people have put on and things like that. Guy Online is fantastic. I've wondered if I could remake uh, myself and Gaia online, actually. 
I was like a permanent dark elf after they came out. I mean, it was very popular. <laughs> I wasn't, but I did go through a phase where I was like super into it. I think I had like an alt account um, where I was like, yes, Dark Elf is where it's at. <laughs> of course, Zeb, of course you're gonna make so many D&D &D characters in it. I am happy to have enabled you. Um, so yeah, my goal is to post setting information, which will be like safe for work um, and also just generally in exposing people, I guess, to some of the creative stuff that I'm up to. Uh, my ultimate goal is to also put, not like threads that I've archived on there, cause I feel like that would be too much. I have like stuff going back quite a few years, but I was thinking about doing synopses of um, some of the things I've written for like, so people could keep up with like plot notes without having to read the whole thing. That's uh, basically more or less what I decided. I may need your guys, you guys' help uh, on my homebrew sorcerer subclass. That would be super interesting. And Zeb has connections of people who are homebrewing their own uh, classes right now, so far as I know. Um, okay, but give me the whole thing though, Zeb. <laughs> but Zeb, I did give you the whole thing. <laughs> Yes, it's you. Uh, I know that you've been talking to, you did, it was great, I'm gonna read it, oh my God. <laughs> so uh, I know that you've been working with Blythe and Mama Blythe who are doing like a homebrew, uh, I mean, theirs is like a not safe for work d and it's, it's giving Dungeons and Deviants um, source material, but they are homebrewing uh, slash altering some classes to get some of their own special stuff. Yeah, Lustfall. Um, I'm not affiliated with them or anything, but the creative work they're doing is actually really cool. Um, so if you're looking for ideas on reworks, definitely contact Zeb. They're the, they're the person. They're currently working on a rework of Ranger. Yeah, I heard about that. It's called, oh shoot, what is it? Wayfinder? I think it's Wayfinder is what they're doing. Yeah, Zeb is doing Lustfall and I'm doing Comet Tales. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to read up on that and learn more. I've never discovered more D&D nerds than I have after becoming a VTuber and I think it's fantastic. I am very, 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 very happy. <laughs> I would like to know what Comet Tales is. So I will definitely be looking it up after stream and inundating myself in that information. <laughs> okay. We have talked long enough. It is time for Descent into Madness. Uh, I am going to, let's see if stream will be nice to me so that I can load up a little to the left. The real question is, is it just gonna show up in uh, full screen like usual? <laughs> I have a feeling that's exactly what it's gonna do. Okay, I think it might be fine. Okay. My gosh. The sound is really loud, so I'm adjusting it really quickly. Oh, you know what? I should probably adjust my volume. That's probably a bit better. Yes. Uh, so here we go. I know my camera is gonna be on, so let's take that off. And, hey, it remembers me from last time. I don't know. Oh, all right, let's stop that. Let's put this on. And I think this was the aspect ratio that I had last time. So let's see. Tell me if you guys can hear the music.
Before we dive in, let me... Ali Oswald picked it up after Lytro picked up Pathfinder. Oh, it's a space fantasy and most of the party is naive rich girls. Oh, 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 oh. okay, you can hear. Is it too loud for anyone? Is it too quiet? Hopefully it's not too loud. If it is too quiet, let me know. I'll adjust the volume. Alrighty, let's play. I can't remember where we left off. I think it was, you think it's pretty well leveled? Thank you. Uh, my secret is I didn't change anything from last time. Okay. Sorry, I had to lock it in OBS. All right, here we go. <laughs> kick, 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 kick. Sammy, hello, hope you are well. I am. Thank you for checking in on me. We're getting back into the streaming after a, uh, a long hiatus for being poopy and sick. Okay. Today, as you can see, we are uh, playing a little to the left. A descent into madness uh, that has to do with cleaning and organizing. Okay. Oh, shoots. Is it just this simple? I feel like this is a trap somehow still. I'm not really sure how. But like... Can we turn it around? No? Oh! I bet it's this. I knew it! I knew it! Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <laughs> it has to... <laughs> it's, all, it's a trap. It's always a trap. Okay, so this has to be on the other side. Yes. That's a really big piece. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay. No, not there. It's gotta be here then, yes. No. Mm, probably that piece, yes. I love the sound effects in this game though, you guys. Can't wait for a little to the right where we're driven more insane. <laughs> it's true, though. A little to the right, it's gonna be fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's... Ah, there we go. I'm not gonna lie. What I love the most about this game, honestly, is... The sound effects. There's absolutely like nothing that I've seen that emulates these sound effects quite as well. I don't know. It's still very like game like. Oh. Oh, that goes in the middle. Okay. Yes! The sound effects are pretty nice. It do make the brain pat. Has Mad Pat done a lore video? I want to know what he says. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I don't know what he could say, but he uh, can apparently make uh, theories off of Merge Mansion commercials. <laughs> So I think that MatPat could do anything at this point, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. What are we doing here? No? Oh, we okay, we're pulling this up, I guess, and not down. Okay. What the heck? Are we just... Okay. What is going on? Did we just, oh, we're wiping? Okay, cool. We're cleaning, we're cleaning. I don't think it works like that on carpet, but I understand. Can we? No? Do we have to pick this up first or something? Oh, shoots. 
Oh, are we just cleaning up all the dog things? I, I guess so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a little to the left is a nice kind of puzzle game. Oh, yeah, these look like dog prints to me, but they are definitely cat. Those are cat toe beans. You're right, because we have a cat. Um, so this is basically the uh, a cozy puzzle game where you organize things in your home and clean up after your cat who ruins things on purpose. <laughs> So it's kind of a light puzzle game, more or less. Oh gosh. Oh no. Um. Oh, so we're just cleaning. More cleaning. Okay. I like that most of the puzzles are just telling a story about your asshole cat. Gosh, I love puzzles. Am I good at them? Debatable. Same. Same. You guys should see me playing Professor Layton. <laughs> Which I may actually do on stream at some point, to be honest. I knew it. Not only did this cat, like... Not only did this cat make a mess, but they also like freaking ruined that gosh darn. Stop that. Oh! Hey, you stop that. Give me that back. Oh! <laughs> so rude. This cat is getting on my nerves. Oh my god. You stop that. Can we like? Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm so glad that I don't have a cat that is like this. Oh my gosh. Some people have uh, cats at home where like, I, I don't know how they live with them. <laughs> They're so grumpy. At least to, you know, like outsiders and things. What on earth? What are we doing? Okay. Oh, we're pruning. There's a new Layton game coming out too. Yes, it's a nice relaxing puzzle game. Yeah, it's immediately stressed. Oh gosh. What on earth is this? Oh gosh, okay. Do we, hmm. Oh my God. This is gonna be a time, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. What is it that we have to do here? Should it be like alternating? Is that what it is? Hmm. I wonder what it is, like what the heck? Hmm. Hmm. There's got to be like a pattern, right? I wonder what it is. Tell me when you want a clue. Hmm. 
I know there's something I'm missing, but I don't know what it is. I will tell you. I will, in fact, tell you when I want a clue. Hmm. At first I was thinking logically, like sometimes you want to clip the ones that are like at the bottom, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. So then I thought maybe they wanted them to be alternating, but that doesn't seem to be the case either. Hmm. The only thing that makes me wonder if some of them grow back faster than others. Hmm. So it can't be that. Hmm. I'm like looking to, I'm trying, at least trying to, I'm trying to look to see. Um, hmm. This one hasn't grown back yet. That's interesting. I wonder if it has to do with how many of these there are. Cause like I plucked that one and it hasn't grown back yet. And this one hasn't either. So I feel like I'm on the right track maybe. Hmm. I wonder. Right plants. <laughs> You got this. I'm working. I'm working so hard trying to. My brain is doing a lot right now. Okay, so I plucked this one, and it hasn't grown back. I plucked this one, and it hasn't grown back. So is it just the ones that are? I don't know. In between. This is. Oh, do we want it to be symmetrical? Is that what it is? Symmetry, probably. So it would be this one then. Ah! <laughs> the dopamine. <laughs> okay. Um, usually when they do these, there's a couple different ways you can do them. Um... But let's see. This might be... I can't tell if it'll be by color or... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, never mind. This is going to be very similar to another one that we've done. Um, this is probably going to be color-based. So since, for example, this one has those pink uh, shades to it, we're gonna grab this one, which also has those pink and red shades, and we want colors that are like associated with the speckles, I think. I think. That's usually how these ones go. So then this would go here. Then we'll go here where we have some specks of yellow. This is in the correct spot because it's got some orange in here. Color so comforting? Absolutely. The colors are very nice. I love the color puzzles that they have here. Yeah, we did it. Love me some goddamn autumn crunch leaves, yes. I am not a fan of touching leaves, but I need these leaves as a poster on my wall right now, yes. Oh no. They're like... Okay, and which ones can I touch? What can I touch? Oh, we gotta arrange them, I guess? Hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay, I see what's happening. 
I think. These are a shape based thing. So the leaves have to fit together so that you can see all of them. Probably? I don't know. No? Yes? Okay, there we go. I just didn't have them in the correct spots. Okay, so I have to ask. Um, <laughs> does anyone else here just do like window shopping online for like <laughs> things that you want to be in your house <laughs> if you had the space to decorate your house? Even though it's super impractical to <laughs> look at things that you probably won't be able to afford in bulk. Like, <laughs> I saw subtle changes in the pots and thought it was that, yeah. <clears throat> Me always, always, yes, because I'm poor. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, same, same sees bestie. I, oh gosh. So is this shape, maybe? It's probably shape. I don't know. Mm. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh oh, that is a bot. Let's see. What can we do? Uh do 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 do. Um Yeah, we're just we're just gonna Speaking of, I should actually just straight up like <laughs> uh, mod <laughs> Zeb. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't modded you guys. You guys are very clearly, uh, very, very clearly people who should be modded. I I'll figure it out after stream. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's either color size or size and color. Yeah. Will it let me do it? I, will it let me do it now? It totally will not. It will not. Sag, depresso. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, I think this has to be shape because these two definitely go together like that. And then, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, no, I'm dumb. Okay. So these two definitely match up. Uh, and then my guess is it would be this. Those edges seem like they match. So then it would be this and then this. But where does this go is the question. Oh, maybe, maybe that actually goes there, I think. Yes. Um... Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Those ankles don't actually match up the way I thought. Shoots. Do the lines have to match up too? That's actually the, qu the question I have. The forbidden candy? Yes. Okay. I have such... I have such an issue with collecting anything that be cons that could be considered uh, forbidden candy. It's really honestly a problem. Uh, okay. I feel like this is not quite it. <laughs> I think maybe it should be arranged this way with that at the end. There we go. I do want to put the shiny rocks directly in my mouth. <sighs> Zeb, never change, you know? Are we opposites? This has to be symmetrical, I'm guessing, whatever it is. The question is, are we just creating a picture in general? This has got to be like color base in some way maybe I'm not sure though because there's only one star okay so the star has to be in the middle regardless um 
So I don't know. Hmm. I bet this is one of the ones that has like multiple answers. <laughs> Ariel's bra pasty in hair decoration collection. <laughs> you are not incorrect, I think, honestly. I think that you are not incorrect. Let's see, how would we do this? Is there only one of these as well? Oh, it looks like there is. That's kind of nuts. Okay, so let's see. There's two of these. There's two of these. There's clearly two of these. Oh, come on. And I gotta deal with the cat too. Rude. Okay. So it comes down to like how I want to arrange these, I guess. Cause it's clearly, we clearly got symmetrical stuff happening. I just don't actually know. Like, I don't know what, poor Anna. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, speaking of Ariel, the one and only problem I have with a new live action is that they didn't just, <laughs> they didn't just slap some shells on her. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I think they tried a little harder than they had to on that one. Poor Ariel looks like the straight guy in a suit at the Met Gala compared to her sisters, it's true. How do I? Hmm. Okay. Cause these clearly share like familiar colors, similar colors. Is there anything that has like this in it? I don't think so. Why, why though? And the thing that's weird to me about this is that it's, both of these are different sizes. Cause otherwise I'd think first row, you know, second row and then something in the middle maybe, but I don't know. Hmm. And then these are hella long, like, what are we supposed to be doing with these crabs? These crab legs or whatever. <laughs> Kinda nuts. Um, at this point, I'm just <laughs> rearranging things. I ignore me. I see. I feel like they're penalizing me for not moving fast enough. I feel like that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> they're like, please move faster. And I'm like, no. Do we want to do it like this instead, maybe? Why, why, why? Why we gotta be like this? Hmm. I don't know if that can actually fit in there. It kind of looks like it can though. What do they want from me? I have no clue. Maybe down here? And then we could fit these little nubby things in there. I have no clue what I'm doing here. We're totally just winging it. This one's a war crime. <laughs> Wait, when you play some of them, they move to match the other ones you've placed? Yeah, I noticed. So I think they're supposed to be symmetrical, just. Maybe they're moving because of the thunk on the table. I have no idea. <laughs> How the hell have you been off for nearly an hour and a half and I'm just now seeing this? <laughs> oh, Kuisu. Twitch do be rude like that. That's the actual answer. The actual response is Twitch be rude like that. They be rude and deciding that they don't care. Um, I did notice that they shift every once in a while though. So I'm not sure. Those definitely moved to there. So like, I'm not sure. 
Interesting. Okay, so everything is spaced. They are in places. Um, do I know what this means? Not especially. <laughs> I do feel like the star being here somehow makes sense, though. Why would you do that? God, you're such a mean pussy, bro. Did it just move that up? <laughs> Did it just move that up, though? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I have no clue. Uh, this is definitely a war crime. I don't like this puzzle at all. The cat does not help. No, the cat does not, in fact, help. Uh, okay. I feel like the things in the middle might maybe be, like, okay, maybe? Um, this is tough, though. I don't know if it should be, like, the other way or not. The way that the sweep does strike me as something that should be at the bottom though so i don't know oh okay yeah why would why would you do that you're so mean oh maybe it's the way that they fit like the shapes hmm okay well if that's the case then i don't know something would have to go here that goes in that space I don't know I do think that these the yellow and black ones are kind of where they're supposed to be though I feel like maybe I don't know oh dear god you're playing a little to the left I am sir I am welcome to the stream welcome to madness incarnate okay um I don't know what else to tell you this is just where we are and how we are you know? Okay. All right, now you're just, now you're just here being a dick just to be a dick, you know? I can't tell if it's trying to help me or not. That's the real question. Is the cat attempting to help me or attempting to hinder me? I literally can't tell. Uh. At this point, I can't. Um, let's see. Okay, so if I go back to what I had earlier, which was this in this space here, we could probably fit like, I don't know. <laughs> These do be some shells, that's all I know. Listen, we're doing our best. Do you think maybe that the cat touches ones that are wrong somehow? <sighs> Possibly? Uh, I don't know. The cat's probably being a cat and fucking with you for its own amusement. So what we know is that Karisu is not team cat. <laughs> That's what we've learned here today. Karisu is not team cat. Oh! I figured it out somehow. <laughs> This game has to violate the Geneva Convention somehow. For some reason, I thought this was actually a loading screen. <laughs> oh, no more plants. Oh, God. Is this a more complex? Yeah, it is a more complex symmetrical puzzle. All right, so let's start inward and then move outward, right? So we got rid of that one. These are symmetrical. So let's move here. This should probably go. This should go. This should go. These two are similar. We're gonna move inward and then outward. This seems fine. These seem fine. One, two, three, four, okay. We have this extra one here. Uh, so that's fine. So now we've got these vines here. These seem... That one's gotta go. Let's see. This is okay. This seems okay. Um, is there an extra one here? I can't tell. No, I don't think so. There's an extra one here. Crap, there isn't. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> oh! 
My eyes deceived me. All right, here we go again. As soon as you make one wrong move, they definitely tell you. Um. <laughs> oh no, I'm Team Cat. I simply understand and accept the bro they are. Okay, okay. That is fair. Acceptance is part of the battle, you know? Uh, where's the extra one? There was an extra one. Here it is. Okay, where is the last one? Uh, this one's here. I swear I'm looking up the Geneva Convention after this. <laughs> hey, look, they just want to make sure that you got like, you know, like your wits about you and whatnot. <laughs> this is a mental exercise. Okay, so this is here. These two are here. This is the one I messed up. What else isn't symmetrical here? What am I missing? Is it... No, there's three on this one. This is here, these two are here. There's something somewhere else I have to have missed. Okay. Uh, it's this one, I think. This one. Okay, what else is there? There's something else. Shoots. Um... I'm just gonna take my time and like comb over it. I'm sure that I'll find it. I just don't wanna move too hastily because then I'll have to do them all over again. These are fine. These are fine. These are fine. I think this entire vine is actually okay. So it's gotta be like over here somewhere. On one of these extra, like outside sides. Shoots. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find a picture of this game and just <laughs> just know under it, it's just it's outlawed, not this game. Yeah, this middle section is fine, I'm pretty sure. It's something on one of these outside ones that are further away. Um These are fine, these are fine, these are fine. One over here. Oh, it's this one. Ha 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 ha. We did it, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Um, Do we have to put them in the same thing? No, it can't be that. Oh, maybe it's by size? Width? I mean, it could also be category, I guess. Are we just putting things that look similar in the, in the same space? Yeah, I guess so, okay. So just googly eyes or just this is so weird. <laughs> I see. I see what we're doing here. Oh, but the sound. Candy and then also forbidden candy. <laughs> Put it all in my mouth. <laughs> the jewel sounds are so good. The middle sounds. Oh my god. The eyes. <laughs> We're actually blowing through some of these levels today. <laughs> but also, the next time I make a serial killer character, I'm coming to this game for inspo. <laughs> okay. We're back in the symmetrical game again, baby. That's what this chapter is apparently about. Apparently. Because, like, sheesh. Um... All right, what would fit here? Cause I noticed with the last one, it was kind of like, oh no, there's only one of those. So that has to be in the middle somewhere. Um, this as well. Hmm. Interesting. Okay.
Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, I do think it is shifting to show, like, differences and, <clears throat> and like, the placement and how the game is processing them. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, I think the curve on these is... No, uh, no. Was the serial killer driven to serial killing by the game? Or is there finickiness, the MO, both? <laughs> a finicky person meets their match. There's a level on a little to the left that they can't actually uh, complete. They develop a complex for murdering anyone that uh, has the game for a certain amount of time and can't make it past a specific level. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So let's see. How do I want to do this? This seems. My gosh. I was gonna say, there's a second one of these. So I just wanna note that like, I do like things in my life to be done in a very specific ways. But I've never been this particular kind of crazy. Like this specific kind is a little nuts to me, not gonna lie. Um, the idea of some, someone, anyone uh, being this particular about something like this, no, nah, that wouldn't go there. It's just kind of ridiculous to me. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, what is this? This is also in the middle, so maybe that goes there. This goes here, that goes there, I don't know. There's also these things. Where do these go? These are other questions. Then there's these like eggs. What the heck? I have no idea what I'm doing. We're, we're just, we're winging it just like we did last time. It's what's actually happening. Um, what the heck am I supposed to do with these things? Oh, there's only one of this. So that goes there, clearly. This is just, this is art. <laughs> this is, this is art. <laughs> Abstract art though. <laughs> Marie Kondo, but they wouldn't say. I wanna ask the maker of this game why. And if they actually live like this, and if they actually think this is a chill and soothing game, surely it's sur surely it's soothing. You don't think this is soothing? You don't think I could just lower my voice and do ASMR to this game? <laughs> okay, so clearly that goes in the middle. Um. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing any of that today. Uh, hmm. How to? Um. Oh, I'm wondering, does it actually matter which order goes in? Maybe. Probably. There we go. I want to see the makers of this game work on a new Zero Escape game or something like it. I actually cry. Is this like color gradients? Yes, it was. Uh, ASMR. The game has driven you to the bargaining phase. I still want to eat the rocks. I have such a big problem with arranging rocks and doing rock related things uh just in terms of like trying to figure out 
um, what I like <laughs> and how I like it. I am such a big uh, proponent of anything that could be misconstrued as like um, a forbidden candy. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. Let's... Do they want me to arrange this by... Hmm... I'm wondering if this is like a... Like this is clearly an arrangement, right? But... That just looks <laughs> tasty and also very painful. It's true. I think it is tasty and painful. Um, let's see. There's... Oh, wait. Hang on one second. Hang on. I will be right back. I realize I haven't taken any, uh, <laughs> any breaks. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm back and I have water instead of just root beer, <laughs> which is important. Uh, I need a be right back screen like this. You can have one. That is the good news. You can have one. I made this on Canva specifically. And I don't think that they're very hard to make. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Okay. I gotta get my, like, mind right in the, back in the game with this puzzle. One of these would normally be, like, a corner piece. I'm hoping that would be a corner piece. Um, the question is, is this done by section? Like, is it done by color? Or is this, like, a mosaic? That's what I want to know. Um, what if they don't care about their being? I mean, hmm. Is there even a space that's similar to this? I don't know. I have no clue what's going on here. Uh... Hmm. This is interesting, I think. 
I have no clue if these should be connected by the lines or not. Because that would be... I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to mess around with this and see if I can find something that works. Oh! Okay, so it does do that. I guess. That aligned really well, though. Um, let's see. Did it... Hmm... Hmm. A clue. Yeah, it seems like a clue at least. So I would want at least... I don't know. I'd want something running along the bottom here maybe? I don't know. Uh, the only other color that's missing would be black, but none of the black ones... A line exactly like this. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Um. I am a hundred percent unsure. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. And I think. Okay, so this definitely fits at the top. None of these other ones are, like, very straight at the top, though. So I'm not sure if this is it exactly. I feel like this is sort of a red herring, to be honest. I feel like it's gotta be. This would have to be, like, a red herring of some sort. Hmm. Oh, this one's like actually diamond, like traditionally diamond shaped. Hmm. Maybe the, okay, well maybe the edges actually are important in terms of trying to get them to align. So this has to be a middle piece because this isn't straight anywhere. And so with this one, this is also at an angle. This is a box of crimes. <laughs> Shiny, delicious, pointy crimes. <laughs> Something about this feels not good. Like, these being aligned like this doesn't feel like it's supposed to be that way. At least not to me. Okay. Here? Mm, no. Maybe here? Nope. Okay. So something is happening here. Maybe it's this? Okay, this seems better to me. <laughs> this seems better. <laughs> Something is happening here. Um, this, this is something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Uh, let's see. Mm, no, it can't be that. I don't really think it's this either. I feel like these definitely fit along the bottom. But that's too steep an angle. And that is too. <laughs> what am I looking for here? I do not know. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> these are the moments where I actually feel like the dumbest. <laughs> The dumbest. Um. Okay. Okay. So maybe the lines do line up with these? So maybe... Oh, hello, hello! Mariolas. Thank you for the follow. 
I'm just a uh, a humble uh, <laughs> Fey Night Witch here, struggle struggling with these puzzles, struggling. Okay, this seems better. I feel like we're on a better track, probably, maybe something like that. No, not quite that. This is definitely better than where we were before. <laughs> hello, hello. As you can uh, <laughs> see from Zeb's comment above, this is a box of shiny, delicious, pointy crimes. Uh, we immortal, powerful beings on the struggle bus. We are. We are. Immortal, powerful beings on the struggle bus. Oh, no, 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 no. This has got to be this probably. Yes. Okay, all right. I just, I wasn't sure about the spacing, but now the spacing is better. So I have a, a better idea of like, what the heck this is supposed to be. Probably. My brain has melted out of my ears two puzzles ago. <laughs> I'm fine with the puzzles. My issue mostly is that I have a rough time with like trying to balance <laughs> my brain working. <laughs> while doing things at the same time. But we're getting it, we're figuring it out. I'm not sure if this is it though. Cause this is like, I'd have to rotate this to get that. So I don't think that's it. This probably doesn't go there. There's gotta be something else. Uh, What's left here? We're, I feel like we're, we're on the verge of getting whatever this is actually. Okay, no, 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 no. We need the lines to connect. So, I was thinking this, cause these two connect, but there's no connection here. So I don't know for sure. Uh, I don't think there's another triangle that fits like this though. So we're gonna roll with that. I really want that to be it, but I don't think that's it. Um, maybe? Probably. And then that goes there. All right, we've make it, we're making progress. We're figuring it out. Oh shoot, that's not it. This is there. This is there. Hey, there we go. We got it. <laughs> Phenom. It just reminds me of that quote from Aladdin, right? Phenomenal cosmic power. Itty bitty living space. <laughs> I feel like that is my brain right now. <laughs> okay. We have more plants. <laughs> there are so many plants here. Um... So the question is, are these symmetrical things? It looks like the answer may be yes. Not sure though. Yes, okay, we have more symmetrical things. This for a leaf, I think there's only one of those. So that goes in the middle. The cat has ruined the entire garden and for what? for chaos. Um, why else do cats do things, you know? Why else do they do things? Okay. So now we gotta like figure out the rest of this. Um, this is kind of crazy. Um, there's gotta be another upside down one like this. Yeah, okay. Some of the orientations do give you hints at where they're supposed to go, but it's not a whole lot, you know? It's, it's not like we're working with a whole lot here. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I think these go like up here or something. The stems, I think, are hints as to like where some of these are supposed to go. But I think as long as you get it symmetrical, the game will give it to you regardless. Um, hang on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Something. Something like this. <laughs> something similar. I feel like we got the center, and that's like the most difficult part, like figuring out what the center is. Hmm. That's too much overlap, though. Uh, there's some of the stems, like... Maybe I should, like... Move these in a little. Mm. It's not quite it, though. I feel like... So I do think that these... Oh, yeah, I guess it just had to be symmetrical. I don't think it matters. And then the cat... My cat doesn't act like this. I just want to say that for the record. That, like, my cat doesn't do this. My cat just eats and meows when she wants attention. <laughs> it's true. What, did, what was it that you said? The cat ruined the entire game and for what? That is very true. I know a cat and can't confirm. It is all for chaos and Cheetos. <laughs> Oh, hmm. Interesting. So, what are we supposed to get out of this? Oh, uh, that's not symmetrical on all sides. I assume that what we're looking for is symmetry. Okay, let's see. We're aligning something here. I just want to see all that the glass has to offer. This is quite a bit of space for you to scroll and run into things. Okay. Hmm. This does feel pretty perfect, honestly. Can we? Oh, I see. I see, okay. So maybe it's like, oh, wait, no, 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 let's, how do I, is it up? Okay, yeah, it is. Do we just line that up exactly? Is that what it is? No. Can we even line this up exactly? Maybe. If it's small enough. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see what we got going here. I see it. Oh, those don't actually fit, though. Depresso. No, not... That's too small. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel like... Mm, maybe these actually don't fit, though. Okay, let me make this small and then look again. <laughs> I'm sorry, doing this is taking, like, all of my freaking brain power, for real, for real. <laughs> okay. Do these... Go with, like... I'm so confused. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this goes in the middle. So we're just looking for shapes that match. Okay. I wasn't sure if they wanted us to add to the design or not. I also meow when I want attention. <laughs> Hi, 180, how are you? I was gonna ask you to meow, but I realized I can't actually hear you. I'll have to ask you on stream. I was supposed to send the meow immediately. <laughs> Okay, which one of these actually fits the tops of the things? It's these, here we go. 
Very close. There we go. A little larger still? Yeah, okay. Nope, too large. You're gonna make me get it like exactly. <laughs> oh man, we gotta do it again? There's more than one we gotta do here? Oh, it's not that bad. All right, so we start with this. And then, um, let's look at the rest of these. I have a feeling they're gonna make me do one more after this too, which is not what I want, but you know, that's okay. Where are the other ones? I'm struggling through. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I am doing much better now. I feel uh, very good about being on stream and seeing you all. Other than going crazy playing this game, uh, I am doing well. Well, I think I'm doing well. I don't know. I feel like to a certain extent, if you're playing this game, maybe you're not doing so well. You know? Maybe it's uh, not in the cards for you to be doing well if you're playing this game. Does this not overlap? Does that not? Okay, I was gonna say. That's crazy. Okay. Alrighty, so now we need the spikes. There we go, I see them. This is an interesting mini game. I'm not sure if I like this one as much as some of the other ones, but it is interesting. There we go. My first choice when I get back to streaming is to go insane. <laughs> Who doesn't like a little old insanity in the noggin? Who's to say that this is the state in which we are actually sane? You know, you never know. What is sanity? You know, what is it exactly? So close. All right, there we go. This one seems like pain for a <laughs> I actually think the hardest part um, is, <clears throat> I actually think the hardest part is when you're zoomed in and you have to figure out that you can uh, go back and forth between the sizes. I think that that's actually the, the worst part. Once you get that, it becomes a lot easier. And I love the sound effects. Like, I'm not gonna hold you up. Uh, this mini game, a little less stimulating than the other ones, but the glass shuffling sounds, mm, A1, top tier, baby. The, uh, the sounds of like this while you're twisting, actually perfect. You like shapes? Not anymore. <laughs> Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Very close. Not quite as big as I need them. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> not quite as big as I need them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are we freeing flies? What is, are we, oh, we're grabbing them. I see. Um, where are we supposed to put them? Okay. These aren't symmetrical, right? So like, does it matter? It probably does though. Oh, no, okay, all right. No? Hmm. Oh, maybe here. Okay, yeah, so it is symmetrical, basically. Dang, uh, nope, not quite, frick. Here, probably, yeah. And they are color-coded, so there's also that. The idea of physically putting my hand on a fly, um, very disgusting, not a fan, not a fan. <laughs> but I do like spiders though. <laughs> 
some Mitra fly. <laughs> Some Mitra fly. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> we finished the chapter. We finished the chapter. So I think I'm actually gonna like call it a day on this one. I feel like that's probably a good idea. This was just gonna be a short stream today. Spiders are cool because they eat spiders. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Eat, uh, they eat flies, but they also do that. Yes, it's true. Spiders eat a, a little bit of everything. Okay. I actually like this music. This is very cute music. So I'm gonna leave this up. Okay. So I may stream a little bit in the afternoon tomorrow. I was a little slow um, getting onto stream, even though this is like my normal time. My plan was to stream a little earlier, but I took a nap instead. <laughs> Not that anyone would know if I didn't say that, but. Uh, so I feel like this is probably a good place since I finished a chapter to close it out just for today. I want to just get my feet wet. The last uh, stream I did last week um, was just a cute little slime thing, playing around with some slimes. But I feel like I solidly under, like feel like I'm getting back into streaming. I may come back later this evening to do some story reading. We haven't visited the uh, bookshelves of the Wanderer's Library for a while. So I feel like that would be a good way to spend some more time with you guys and uh, get back into like my regular content. <laughs> Hope it was a good nap then, LOL, it's been fun, bro. It was actually good. It was actually good. I'm trying to, you know, be good about when I stream, how I stream. Keeping, keeping all that stuff in mind. <laughs> this game is amazing. Uh, I promise next time I stream this game, I will do like two chapters instead of just one. Uh, but I know if I keep streaming today, we'll, we'll be going on like forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm actually just gonna let this be like our, our um, tipping on out music. Um, so it's, 8.40 my time, close to uh, nine. So I've been streaming for a couple hours at this point. Uh, I'm gonna stream for a couple more hours tonight and split the stream that way. And we'll do some reading. I'll be happy to give birth of the angels for tonight. Oh, ho, ho, that, that is special. We can definitely get the intro, get into birth of the angels for tonight. I 100% will do that. Uh, I've been wanting to, I wanted to ask you about reading it on stream, but this is perfect. Okay. So there we go. Our plans are set. We're going to do a bedtime story stream tonight. Um, I'll say maybe in four or so hours. So it'll be like in terms of EST, it'll be around midnight, uh, or one o'clock somewhere between there, between midnight and one o'clock. Uh, and we'll read the first couple chapters of Birth of the Angels to see what you guys think. So that is what we'll do tonight. So if you uh, were lurking in stream and you like having my voice in the background, or if you were here a little late and didn't catch uh, the conversation and some of the uh, gameplay, you can come back a little later and we'll be reading. I know some people have streams on in the background so they can go to sleep. So this will be a perfect stream for that. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I have like longer nails than usual. So I've been clicking them all the time. Just yes. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna adjourn for today on our uh, a little to the left and I'll see you guys in a few hours. <laughs> I like when other people read because I don't like doing it. That's fair uh, and valid, fair and valid. Cool deal, alrighty. So that's it for now. Uh, for anyone who's lurking, once again, I'm Luminous Peak, your friendly neighborhood, Faye. Uh, please remember to take care of yourself and that you are important. And I will see some of you later on tonight. If you missed tonight's uh, recording, the VOD will be up. Don't worry about it. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay.
Bye.